Good morning, everyone. Today I have my 2016 Toyota Camry SE uh, 2.5. I'm gonna do a coolant uh, drain and replace, or drain and fill. And this is the uh, bottle that I got here. Asin 50/50 pre-diluted. Got this from Napa because it was hard to find anywhere else. Let's get started. All right, so now that I got it up onto the ramps, I'm gonna open the hood and let it cool off for a bit because I had it on for a little bit too long and I know it's gonna be hot. So to avoid myself from being burnt, it's gonna let it cool down for a bit. So once it cools, we're gonna take off uh, the reservoir here. Let's see, uh, we're gonna take off that bolt there, that bolt there, empty that out. We're not gonna just dump it on the ground because uh, this stuff is toxic. Uh, we're gonna take that out, clean that off, and put some new uh, coolant back in there. We're gonna take this off. This is hot right now, so I'm not gonna even touch it. And then, I don't know if you could see down in there, it's a little, white tab down in there. I'll probably have to show you from the underside. That little white tab down there. We're gonna untighten that from the bottom. Besides the, uh, the coolant, I got these gloves. Protect my hands. I got my glasses somewhere. I bought this little tarp thing. I don't know if I'm gonna fully use this or use the, the rags here I bought from Home Depot. And then I got this bucket here. My last uh, 10 quart, I left it outside in the sun and it destroyed it over time. It just got brittle, hardened and it cracked apart. So I'm gonna use this to measure how much comes out of not only the radiator itself, but from the, uh, the overflow reservoir. So I can put back that amount into the car system. All right, so I had to get this out because I got to take off the um, overflow reservoir. And I think it's a 10 millimeter. I'll let you know in a second. Yeah, it's the 10 that goes on there. Oops, wrong way. Okay, this is where we're at because this bolt right here didn't want to come off. This one loosened right up right away. So now I have to pump this out of here. Some people would just leave it there, but it's bothering me. So now I'm gonna pump this out of there and into, into the container. All right, so now I have it in there and I'm pumping it into the container here. So far, let me see if I can balance that properly. We got less than less than a quart in there, so. And that's out of the reservoir here. I wish I could have took it off and cleaned it better, but hey, sometimes that's how it goes. Oh crap. Okay, I hit my phone on the car, but it has a case. So right now I'm kind of dead in the center there. There's a reservoir that, the overflow reservoir that I was trying to take off. As you can see, it still has some sitting down in there. Won't be able to get to that. Um, but there's that nozzle that I was talking about. It's kind of closer, it's near the middle, but more towards the uh, driver's side tire. Oh, make sure you guys have this um, properly on the, the uh, service ramps. You don't want your car falling over on you, seriously. Um, so for the 2015 to 2017 model They created this little spout hole here So that the coolant could come out you could see it right there for the 2013 to 2015 um, There I believe you have to take off these uh the underguard shields, so just be cognizant of that All right, so now that I got it off, oh, I'm missing the clip. Now that I got it, uh, well, not off, but now that I'm underneath this, 
I'm gonna try and reach my hand in there and turn it. Okay, that's looking like, man, I'm in an awkward position. Yeah, I'm gonna need to put the phone down to, to twist that and then I'll show you it sputing out that hole. Okay, um, off camera, when I reached my hand back in there with the phone down, for some reason it took less effort than what I was trying from before, so I'm gonna, it's loose enough to where I could use my, my two fingers. And wait for it to spout out. You don't wanna pull it all the way out, I'm twisting it now. Yeah, how much I gotta twist it? Oh shit, I'm missing. Okay, there we go. So I didn't have the bucket aligned properly. I started missing. So you can see it trickling through that hole right there. If it ever focuses into my bucket and then um, shortly I'm gonna open the uh, radiator cap right now it's draining nicely into the uh, my catch bucket I was gonna use the oil pan but I decided to go with um, the Home Depot measuring container 10 quarts because I thought it'd be a lot simpler and it wouldn't splash all over the place because it rises up so high so the water not water sorry coolant wouldn't splash around So let me see if I can get a shot of that same knob that I was telling you about. There's the knob right there. It's spilling down into there. And I'm gonna open up this cap soon. I'm gonna give it a few more. Uh, I got sidetracked by uh, one of the workers at my neighbor's house. So he's doing stucco on the walls. I forgot to show you me taking off the cap, but it's no biggie. Uh, this thing's still flowing out. It's been a good five minutes legit five minutes and it's still trickling out I guess because the the hole is small yeah so still waiting about time this bucket looks like it's a little bit over half let me turn it around so I can see Five, what is that? Five, five and a half quarts? Well, whenever it stops shaking and settles down. Five and a half quarts. Wow. So, that's how much I gotta put back in essentially. Well, minus, uh, minus, I wanna say almost half a quart because I took some out of the reservoir. Wow. So I'm um, um, actually, I, I thought I, you know, overpaid for this when I got it. I think it was like four bucks, five bucks, whatever. And I thought it was uh, two pieces um, rolled into one. You can separate it, but it's all one whole piece. And I'm like, dang, man, I got I got hustled, but it's actually absorbing it. So the the stuff that spilt. So I'm glad I got it. Now we're gonna um, go and close back the uh, the drain plug okay it's getting extremely hot again out here in Florida okay let me see if I can get this on camera I'm trying to tighten it back Hand keeps getting in the way. Twist. Twist. You don't want to uh, use any type of, you know, excessive tool. Your hand should do the trick. Don't want to over tighten it either. 
I just gave that last little spin. Hopefully, you know, it's locked in place. But we'll know soon enough. All right, so now that we did all that caps off, I'm going to put some of this ASIN 50-50 pre-diluted, meaning it's already mixed to that uh, the specs that it needs to be. You don't have to add water to this. You don't need to. And it also says it under, do not add water. So this is ASIN or ASIN. Yeah, they do a lot of parts for Toyota. So it's supposed to be a pink solution. I'm going to open it up now. Hopefully I did my research properly. And I got this from Napa because uh, most of the other places did not have it. What the hell is it? Oh, a little safety. We're going to need two hands. Let me put this now. Okay, so I totally did that wrong. There was a little notch there. I didn't see it. I was supposed to spin it and it was supposed to take it off, but whatever, my fault. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna use the same wood to pop a hole in the top of it. Okay. Cover this back for the meanwhile while I go put that little, little oh, gone in the wind. I'll get it later. All right, so now I'm gonna pour this uh, liquid into, should've got a funnel, but yeah. I'm gonna pour this liquid into uh, the radiator, because it's about to, it's about to rain. Oh, let me see if I can get this right. I should get my cloths. Okay, yeah, because I'm never good at this, so I should catch some of it. Sit right over it. All right, I gotta go look for my funnel. That's not working. Too much of it splashing all over the place. I'll go get my funnel, and I'll be right back. All right, so. All right, so now we have the funnel. I cleaned it off a little bit. Whatever. Oh, it's bubbling. Make sure down at the bottom it's not dripping either. Make sure that 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 um, drain plug is closed off. So I'm gonna finish this up. And I'm gonna start it up for a little bit. Right now I got it open. Let's try and burp it. I got the um, the heater on and the AC blowing high heat, and I'm watching that temperature gauge there. It should start burping. I'm gonna give it a few more. Way to get up the temp so the thermostat could open and then get out any uh, air pockets that might be in the system. All right, so um, when I was refilling this, I wasn't paying attention. The um, fill indicator is on the other side. I was just filling it. Got to about right here. I had to use the pump over there, suck out some of it. So that's what set me back. So. Um, I had the car running for a little bit, didn't see it overheat, added some, I didn't hear it, uh, uh, burp at all, or bubble, so I'm, I'm assuming everything's okay, but I'm going to start it up and let it run for a little bit, and watch the temperature. Right now I got it running, um, set to hot, high, and I got the RPMs around 2 well, I had it at 2,000. 
roughly and watching the heat gauge.